Hey loves, what's up, it's Toya. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, before I get started, thank you guys so much who checked out, who got a chance to check out latoyacodner.com and signed up to receive the package for the giveaway. Uh, if you wanna know more about my website and how it's geared toward athletic body types and fashion and 4C hair care and whatnot, check out the link down below. So today we're gonna talk about money. It's one of my favorite topics to talk about. So I literally had to write a little outline so that I didn't get carried away. <laughs> I get asked from you guys so much on Snapchat especially, and sometimes here on YouTube on older videos, asking me to talk about money and how I paid off almost $30,000 worth of debt. I wonder if I can pull up how much I actually paid off. $27,152.41. That is how much I paid off within the span of a year from August 2016 to August 2017. And these are my five tips on how you can do it too. First thing is your mentality. I'm gonna be really real with you guys here and say that though I'm gonna talk about income, Really, it has to do with getting yourself out of your own way. I did not grow up with a lot of money. I am not rich, I am not wealthy. I literally had to spend time learning about money and choosing mentors that don't exist in my real life in order to teach me to unblock myself by having this mentality that I'm probably gonna be poor for the rest of my life based off of the people that are around me, based off of how I maybe grew up, or maybe I don't have enough knowledge, or maybe because I'm not an engineer, or maybe because of whatever it is. You know, there are a lot of people, and I know because I was one of them, and it's something I still go, I still, have to continue to train myself daily and saying that no no i i don't have to just wish and hope that you know someday i'll win the lottery or some amazing thing will just happen for me you know i'm just praying for god to like just give me money no, it's nice and it's always good to know that there are miracles and there are blessings that do happen. But it doesn't have to be by some weird twist of fate that you're going to get out of debt. You have to really get out of your own way and stop thinking with this poor person's mentality. And I'm not talking about poor, poor as in you don't have a lot of money poor. I mean the fact that you feel like your life is what it is. You're gonna be here for the rest of your life and you're just gonna scrimp by and, and never get ahead. You have to, have to train yourself out of that. And I'll talk about this a little bit more, but whether that's books, podcasts, um, articles i had to seek out the information because i did not i had zero zero examples of what it looked like to manage money well zero i had to teach myself and i could no longer rely on that crutch of oh i wasn't born into a rich family or oh you know my parents didn't teach me this or oh i don't have you know a rich employer you know that's looking out for me and 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 sees me as their little project or however you however you think and i also had to get rid of the idea that money is the root of all evil and little sayings like that i have a blog post as well if you guys want a little bit more information and you want to know the books that i had to read but i'll get more into that but the first thing is that you have to train yourself out of a poor person's mentality and again poor has nothing to do with money it is a state of being that basically says that no matter what, because of X, Y, Z, you're basically telling yourself you don't deserve better, that you'll never get there. So you have to scrap that out. Two, income. I want to talk about income next because I know that's what's on everybody's mind. Like how much money did you make to be able to pay off that? Listen, guys, <laughs> my income fluctuates heavily year to year depending on what kind of opportunities I have. 
I don't work in uh, like a high, you know, executive level position. I don't do that. I manage my money really well. But income is important, okay? You can't save money, you can't pay off debt without having some kind of income. So you have to figure out a way to take yourself out of the rut that you're in. So now that your mentality is fixed, you need to find ways of making more income. I prefer personally passive income. So maybe you're not at the point where you can invest because that is a form of passive income. Also real estate is a form of passive income. Um, Maybe you do something like I do, like blogging or YouTube. You know, it, passive income has to do with you front loading. All of the work is kind of done at the front of the project. And then afterwards, as it lives on, it makes you money. I used um, YouTube as a big source of like my passive income and a percentage of that goes in towards paying debt and a percentage goes into taking care of business. Now, basic forms of income. I picked up a second job, okay? I still work. I actually still have two jobs. I do YouTube and I do acting. Uh, so I've been busting my butt to try and make as much income as possible. So if that means picking up an extra job, doing odds and ends things, you know, taking surveys online, whatever works for you and your lifestyle, you have to do it. And then you have to push yourself just an extra step further in order to make those numbers go up. Again, I want to get to a place where I'm not necessarily spending time to make money, you know, because that really is how wealthy people get wealthy. That is the way to build wealth because there's just simply not enough hours in the day to make the amount of money that some of these people make. But in the beginning, when you're trying to figure things out and I'm doing this, I'm on the same track as you guys, you know, you need to find ways of creating income and changing your mindset of you can't and to you can because you can, okay? You just have to roll up your sleeves and work. So let's talk about my journey in particular based off of uh, my income. I have my original job. I got a second job. I had YouTube. And then I was blessed to have some acting opportunities. And everything income tax, um, gifts from friends, or whatever it is that you get, you know, you you have to, all that extra, especially unexpected income, you need to shovel that away towards your debt. Because if, you're at a, if your net work is in a negative, you're in a deficit, okay? Which means that the stuff that you have doesn't really belong to you. And so I have no debt outside of my student loans, which I'm currently working on. So you want to work on your income. Three. You want to apply that income to a budget. You don't want to wait until you get your money to start figuring out what you're going to do with it. Like at the beginning of the month, every single month, because our lives change. This month I have, you know, uh, um, a birthday party. This month, you know, I don't have the birthday party, so I have a little bit extra income. You know, this month I have to get this person a gift or I have a wedding to go to or whatever it is. You know, our lives change and fluctuate. So having a monthly budget that you set up at the beginning of the month. I can have a whole video on how to budget. <laughs> I'm like, am I just, am I making more work for myself? But basically what you want to do is you want to predict how much relatively, how much money you're going to be making, whether you get paid in one lump sum, a bunch of little pieces. You want to have your income at the top and then you want to subtract your bills and your expenses from that. And anything left over out of paying your minimum minimums, you want to apply whatever is left to the lowest debt that you have. This is the snowball effect, the snowball plan by Dave Ramsey. He has a whole book on uh, getting out of debt. I will link all of that stuff in my blog post down below. Um, and also in the blog post, it will explain to you different ways, like there's two different ways of getting out of debt, paying off either the, uh, the debt that's the smallest first to gain momentum, 
or paying off the debt with the highest interest. You have to know yourself and what's gonna work for you to keep you on track. I chose to pay off my smallest debts. Basically, say, for example, I'm not gonna get too far into it, but say I have you know, three bills, each $20 a month, right? When I'm done paying off that bill, the lowest one, say it's like a $100. And my minimum payment was $20. I paid off it. Now I have this $20 free. Now I'm going to apply that $20 to the next. So now my minimum that I'm creating for myself is $40. So now you're gaining momentum. And you just keep going down the line paying off debt. And you have to literally be laser focused. And there's going to be people that are not going to understand. But you have to know that what you are doing right now is you are preparing for a life even more abundant, even better than where you are now. You don't have to starve or look bad or raggedy in order to do it because do I look like I'm starving? Do I look like I'm raggedy? No, you wanna take care of yourself, but you want to make sure that you have a strict budget so that if you're going to spend a little bit on yourself, that you're, you're not gonna go overboard. And that's where people mess up. Fourth, you wanna automate. Automate. You, and this doesn't necessarily mean something technological, which it can. Um, for example, if you're wanting to um, pay off a certain debt and you have problems you know, paying bills on time, auto debit. Sign up for every auto debit program that does your minimum balance as possible. If you have a credit card bill that can be on audit, um, bill pay, do it. You have phone bills, you have student loans, whatever, just get on auto pay so that you're not incurring more debt by those late fees because late fees and interest kill you. Literally, I hate them with a passion, which is why I don't have any debt. <laughs> just like, ugh. So you wanna automate as much as possible. You also wanna automate your sort of personal schedule. I know that at the beginning of the month, when I'm setting up my budget, like that is what I do. I automatically do it. I look forward to doing it. Now you may not be the person that I am who loves moving around numbers and it gets super technical with it. Like maybe that's not you, you know what I mean? Maybe you don't like researching a lot or, you know, know whatever it is but you need to figure out a schedule that works with you that no matter what this is what you do especially at the beginning of the month and number five mentors and supporters as I said in the beginning of this video my mentality about money was broken it genuinely was broken and I had to start creating my own mentors in the form of books reading books, listening to podcasts, listening to seminars, you know, conferences. I, I literally had to pretend that these people were walking with me on my journey and also keeping my faith. I am a God-fearing woman and I, you know, believe that when I started setting my mind toward my goal, God started opening up all of these opportunities, all of these, all of these, you know, financial opportunities for me that I didn't have before. And I think that it had to do with the law of attraction. <laughs> I really do. It's like, I, I mean, like, it was just like, boom, 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 boom. Things just started happening because in my mind, I was working towards them. And I honestly believe that God started to reward me because of it. So, you know, surrounding yourself, even if they're invisible to you, but and you're just surrounding yourself, wrapping yourself in the knowledge of someone else who is better off than you are, who has more experience, who has more knowledge on finances than you do. You know, every day I would listen to podcasts. I drive a lot, I'm in LA. Every day I'm, I'm like on, you know, Quora, like looking up, I don't even know, like um, financial advice and just like literally soaking in as much as possible. And I also read entrepreneur books as well that links back to the, so, the whole you know, income base of this. It's like finding ways to um, surround yourself with those mentors and also the people that support you. You know, you're gonna go on this journey and there's gonna be a lot of people who don't understand. You know, I, in my place of work, I work with people that are younger than me who aren't necessarily on the same, you know, journey as I am. And even when I was in my early 20s and my mid-20s, you know, 
I still had this mindset of, no, I want to be responsible. I don't want to mess up my credit. I won't, you know what I mean? Like, this is how I thought. I've always been sort of that kind of thinker. And sometimes, sometimes when you think different than everyone else, you just have to keep it to yourself. You know, it, for me, it helps to have one or two people that really understand my fiance. He gets it. I mean, he gets what I'm doing. He totally respects it. There are some things that, you know, he doesn't understand, but he's trying to. And then, you know, my best friend who is literally on the same track in life as I am. And, you know, just having those people around you that's that understand why you're not going to be going out for dinner or why you're you know preferring to eat at home and have your own meals or you know why you're working instead of partying you know surround yourself with positive influences mentors people that are headed in the direction that you want to go into and that applies to everything in life so i just want to say you can do it you can do it and it doesn't matter how much money you make you can make a little bit and you can make a lot of money honestly there are so many people that are and i'm going off on a little tangent but there are so many people who make hundreds of thousand dollars a year and literally have nothing to show for it the amount of income does not matter <laughs> it, it could mean nothing because if you are overspending or you're living outside of your means you might as well be making nothing like it doesn't matter so that kind of thing doesn't never it never impresses me how much someone says they make it's like what you do with the money you do have is what matters and you guys can tell from the passion that I have that I am, oh, you, you guys, you can do it. I'm going to link a blog post down below that has some books and some of my favorite podcasts from Dave Ramsey, Susie Orman, if you're an entrepreneur, um, um, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, oh my God, so many people, um, Paula, Paula Pant, I believe, her podcast, um, just people who are, are in that mindset um, who else? I don't know. There's so many. There's so many books and I will probably be adding even more. Um, you guys can do it. You can do it. I'm getting excited. I have to go. I hope these tips help you. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I love you.